Hi everybody. Today I received my Mr. Cool DIY mini split air conditioning system. It came in two separate boxes, one containing the compressor and the other one contained the inside unit along with the charged and ready to connect refrigerant line set. I did a lot of research and decided to try this system since it comes with a pre-charged line set and I don't have to do the typical vacuum purge and charge that's required with other systems. The system also comes with everything you need the outdoor compressor unit, inside wall unit, accessories like a plastic wall tube set, condensation drain tube, and remote control. It comes with a Wi-Fi interface so you can control it from an app you can download to your smartphone, and it's also compatible with Google Assistant through Google Home and works with Alexa. I did try the controls through Google Home, but decided its own app works better, but still, the remote control unit that comes with the system actually has more controls to operate the system more precisely. Anyway, let's get started with the installation. So when I went on up to uh, measure the wall for proper placement, you know, centering it up on the uh, wall, I found that the studs were not where the pre-drilled holes were. So I went ahead and drilled two holes, one here, one here, so that I can get at least two screws into studs for uh, strength and support. I'll use uh, drywall anchors for one on the end, each end, and one down here. And those should be sufficient. As long as the two are screwed into studs, we'll be fine. The unit itself is not terribly heavy, so we should be okay. tape anymore. I'm not tightening all the screws completely yet. Make sure they're all in and lined up, and so far it looks good. Okay, here we go. Just the torque a little for the ones in the studs. Uh-oh, that did not feel good. The screw broke. This one, on the other hand, held. And I know. I can drill a hole right here and put it in the stud. The inside unit requires a hole to be drilled. It's three and a half inches in diameter uh, for the refrigerant lines and the drain hose and the power cord to go through. So what I did was I cut out the, that portion of the uh, template that came with the unit so that I could line it up precisely where it should be. And then I'm going to drill a pilot hole right in the middle of that diagram for the uh, that hole that I need to drill. I do have a three and a half inch hole saw which I'll be using to go through that wall. Okay, so I'm ready to drill my first hole. I've cleared the closet in the back side of that area so that the uh, dust doesn't get into everything. So here goes. Pilot hole. 
and it's got to go slightly on a down angle so that the uh, drain line will be able to drain properly. So I'm going to go a little bit like this. Increase torque on the drill. One hole. Okay, so I have the holes drilled now. I don't know if you can see through, but I've got a hole through the other side into the uh, closet. And everything looks clean so far. And the lines come through that wall into this closet here, out of that hole, and then out to the exterior of the house through that hole. I put the drain tube inside a three quarter inch PVC pipe just to keep it rigidly, you know, uh, I guess attached to the bundle without crink kinking or anything like that. So it's loose inside the pipe, but it's, it's a straight shot with a slight down angle so that the water drains properly. So we have the indoor unit mounted up on the wall. Pretty clean installation job there. No defective uh, hole cutting on the outside. Refrigerant lines go out of here through this wall. Okay, so the refrigerant line set is in this bundle. Here's the drain tube. And those are going to come down in a uh, plastic channel that's going to come down right here alongside the uh, conduit for the electrical. The electrical is set up with a AC disconnect. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all there. I have also set four anchors into the concrete. And it's going to be sitting on a uh, pad, an AC compressor pad. It's going to sit on top of the concrete, and then the compressor will sit on that. So here we go. That's what I'm working on next. Okay, so now I'm wanting to hook up the compressor unit. The first thing was to run the wiring. The wire conveniently has a connector to match the compressor side. Only problem is this connector has to go through this opening without any protection. And if you want protection, you have to put in some sort of a bushing and this one's not gonna fit. I tried it already. I'm gonna see if I have a plastic insert bushing, but that's not a watertight or a very firm type of a strain relief. Okay, so the idea of putting in a plastic bushing didn't work because the connector was still too big to fit through that bushing. So I ended up just cutting and uh, feeding the line through the uh, more solid clamp style and spliced it back together using wire nuts. So I've completed the installation of the Mr. Cool 18,000 BTU split mini system. Uh, the pre-installed, pre-assembled refrigeration line set was about twice as long as I really needed because the unit, the inside unit is just, just inside here and within inside the house there's only about six feet of the, the line. The rest of it is all down here. I've got it coming down through a, a three inch plastic housing and then the drain line just kind of spits out onto the ground but the line set, the refrigeration line set and the power uh, electrical connection to the inside is kind of coiled up here. My wife thinks I should uh, to build some sort of a bracket system or something to kind of keep them in place and 
so that the gardeners don't kind of accidentally do something to it. And the same thing here, I used a six, piece, six foot piece of flex conduit for the electrical. As it turns out, the, uh, the connections were quite simple to do following the directions and there's no sign of any leakage of the refrigerant. And the inside unit is currently set for 76 degrees. Outside it's still well over 80, so it's been running for the last 20 minutes or so, cooling down the room. It's uh, set to go to 76, and it feels like it's about 79 right now, but uh, I have every faith that it will work. Okay, folks, well, that was the uh, short video on installing my new Mr. Cool mini split system. A um, couple of comments. Uh, it's that this is definitely a two person install job, uh, especially when it comes to mounting the inside wall unit, because you also have to feed the refrigerant lines through, uh, and somebody needs to pull it from the other side while you're feeding it through from the, from the front side and holding the, the inside unit while doing this. So it's definitely a two-person job. Um, and other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you should expect to have proper tools. The hole saw, I in uh, cutting the outside hole in the stucco, it pretty much destroyed the, the brand new hole saw that I bought for this project, uh, which is fine. It was about $18, but it's well worth it. The, uh, if you're going to mount the compressor into the ground, um, into concrete, you'll probably want to have a uh, hammer drill available because otherwise it'll take forever and it, it, you may never drill the holes deep enough to set those anchor bolts in. Uh, aside from that, um, I did find the uh, three inch channel uh, for, the, uh, for the line set outside on the wall on eBay. It's also available on Amazon, I believe, uh, but I bought that on eBay. I bought my uh, AC disconnect box from eBay as well. Um, so a lot of the components um, are available on eBay. Um, electrical, if you are not familiar with how to properly install your electrical to code, because you do want to make sure that uh, everything is, is uh, properly done. Um, if you don't know how to do so, you should hire a uh, licensed contractor, electrical contractor to do that um, and uh, follow all local ordinances for that. Anyway, that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Thanks.